excited. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. It's 6 30 in the morning. Um, I'll probably sleep on the plane. We'll see you there. What's up guys? We are on the beautiful island of Maui this morning. Uh, we just flew in yesterday afternoon. I'm gonna throw in a ton of shots of us coming into the island. We had a layover in Honolulu yesterday, which was also looking very beautiful. I took a few shots of the water as we were landing. And then we flew into OGG Maui, picked up a rental car, which I'm glad I booked way out in advance because it was a cluster there yesterday trying to find a rental car. Um, and now we're staying at a condo in Lahaina. So we are up this morning checked out the uh, pool and the rest of the property there last night and now we're going to explore town. So we actually made it down to Pioneer Beach or Pananu. I'm gonna put it on the screen because honestly, I'm probably mispronouncing it. Uh, it's a little bit rocky on the beach. Um, when you get in the water, there's like some corals and coral reefs and stuff where like fish are swimming in and out of it. So if you want to bring a snorkel, it's pretty shallow. So just a heads up, but you can get in and absolutely like see some fish swimming around. So that's pretty cool. And it's a really nice view of one of the other islands and like just parasailing going on. So there's a lot of families down here. It seems like the sun's very soft and it's, it's just cool. It's a good vibe. If you're looking for like maybe more of a swimming beach, then you may want to go further up the coast. So I'll find another one of those and we'll, uh, we'll take you there as well. How's the vacation so far? It's amazing. Maui's great. <laughs> Also a couple of day beds near the pool area. So overall, very nicely set up. And then, uh, like I said, it uh, it does have access almost within five minutes to the beach, so great location. So why for you so far? It is fantastic. We've eaten at some great spots. We're hopefully gonna do some hiking today and then we have the Hyatt later this week, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so it's Monday, July 4th. We are here for the week of 4th of July. Um, we're gonna to try to find some fireworks today, maybe do some hiking. And then other than that, probably just hang out at a beach. We're trying to find something that's maybe a little less rocky. The one we went to nearby us uh, yesterday was a little too rocky for us in terms of getting into the water. So maybe we'll go north into more parts of Western Maui today to see if we can find something that's a little more sandy and 
easier for everybody to swim on. Uh, in the meantime, Christina and I out this morning just looking for some breakfast. All right, so we're here at Twin Falls. It's raining, as you can see. It's really cold, uh, but it's pretty sick. I thought I'd update the vlog. It is now Tuesday, July 5th. Uh, last night we enjoyed the fireworks down um, at the Lahaina Bay. I'll put up some shots right now of us being down at that. Um, had a really nice setup. I guess they hadn't done this in a couple of years due to COVID and they'd shut it down last year as well. So we were able to go down and check that out. Um, it was a really big turnout. They closed down the streets and they had a classic car show coming through. We were lucky to snag a spot at Tommy Bahama's Marlin Bar to watch that go by. So I'll put in some clips of that as well. Um, I definitely recommend going to Lahaina. It seemed like even some of the resorts in the area had people coming down from what we could see to watch the fireworks here in Lahaina town. So if you were looking for somewhere to watch that, um, if you were in Hawaii this time of year, that would be my suggestion. Um, maybe get there early for a good spot. Um, and then I can't recommend them enough. So the, uh, the Tommy Bahama bar, I think it is probably one of the top bars in the area to go out of a great drink. It sounds a little bit touristy, but I can say, honestly, they're making fantastic cocktails in there. Um, and then the only other bar I could say is is up there is probably another place called the Dirty Monkey, which I'll put up here as well. Um, that is a another just like true bar that's in the area. Other than that, as far as drinks goes in Lahaina Town, you're probably just going to grab drinks at somewhere you're also getting food at. There's not a lot of like staple bars. Um, there is a local spot called the Sly Mongoose, which we checked out, but it's more of a dive. So if you don't like that as much, then you'll probably want to stick towards the main strip of Front Street um, and go so from this there. This is the second pool that's on the property. Um, this one seems to be a little less crowded and a little more quiet on most days. Um, there is a main pool with a hot tub, although the water is so warm that no one's really even using the hot tub and if you do it's like broiling in there um, the main pool is nice it seems like it has a lot more of like families hanging out at most of the time versus this one seems to be a little bit more calm even though it's only like another few steps away so been enjoying that um, and overall the condo's been working out pretty good so we'll uh, we'll check back in with you guys at shark beat uh shark bit beach later today How many turtles? <laughs> Two to three, it's not ideal. It's a fatty $10,000 fine to touch the turtle, which... Don't try to assault you, <laughs> like that rhymes just right there. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know, it's just not warm enough to swim back home. That's what I love about it. We are here for one night staying in what I believe to be a suite. It's a timeshare style unit, but we thought we'd show you around. This is by far one of the most unbelievable room setups I've ever seen. Washer dryer in it. Again, it is a timeshare style room. We're walking into a front entryway. Huge kitchen has an overhead range stove, wash unit with an oven in here, four toaster, plenty of storage, cutting block, flashlight, huge refrigerator. Absolutely massive, but I've never actually seen one in a timeshare situation this large. This is nuts. Has also a pull-out freezer that is huge if you wanted to stay here for a week, a few days. Has a dishwasher. Everything you would need to cook here, do whatever you want for a week. There's a microwave built in. Huge tub style, kitchen sink, coffee maker with some local coffees on site. They have a small working desk set up with an ice bucket, some other items that you might need. And then here on the entryway closet area, there is a couple of other items as well. Small safe, you want to lock anything up. A blender and a rice maker, which I've never actually seen in a high property before. Strainer, some other small items, a tea kettle, anything you may need. And then if you do need to get some cleaning done, they got you covered, okay? They got a little vacuum, push, push style room, a little step ladder for you to step up and stuff. But the highlight of the room is absolutely this view. You have a little dining area on the right, pull-up couch over here, and you have a huge TV. I'm gonna guess this is a 55-inch LG unit with surround sound, DVR, all the movies on deck. And if you step out here, you get the main highlight of the room, okay? This is a view over Canapoli Beach. This is on Western Maui with one of the best views of the island property. It has seating for almost five out here. We have a small dinette table with two seats. They also gave us the access to have a couple love chair styles sitting here and then a lounger style sofa if you just want to hang out, watch the breezes go by, watch the waves. The view is absolutely insane. You get it off all of Canapali Beach. There's, I believe, up to five pools on property and they are absolutely fantastic. So one thing that we noticed when we initially walked in was that there was another high property just on that side of the property that's completely separate from this one. So this more is a timeshare style versus that's a typical more like high regency style. We asked if we could access the pool, they said that's totally fine. They have a grotto over there, multiple pools. They actually have a penguin exhibit here, which is nuts, I've never even heard of that, so we've absolutely shown them that. If you walk back in the master bedroom area, we have a King bed with two nightstands, beautiful decor in here throughout. Bed is super soft, we already laid down in it. Has awesome Hawaiian style robes. Ironing board uh, with an iron in case you want to tighten anything up. A couple baggage stands, another 50 inch TV inside the bedroom. And then another huge highlight is the bathroom area. So when you walk in the bathroom, you have a beautiful above ground soaking tub. This has got to be the size of at least three people fit in here. It's nuts. Toilet area, dual vanity, uh, his and hers sinks, which is awesome. They left out as much towels as they possibly could. And then to finalize it, they have an awesome walk-in shower with great marble decor. And it has two different jet settings. Plenty of high residency club accoutrements uh, left around. So overall, by far the sickest room I've stayed in a high. I mean, it, it has got to be an 11 out of 10 for me. This is incredible.
So we were just over at the pool next door, which is also a Hyatt property. I will link it up here. But if you stay at either one of them, they will give you access to either of the pool areas, both properties. You don't even have to actually access anything. Once you're in the main Hyatt property, they're both connected. So you can just check out both. Uh, I think overall, we are more pleased with our decision to stay at the Hyatt residency because it's more of a timeshare condo style. And at least with the room we ended up in, we feel like it probably was better than uh, the comparable property next door. Uh, so I just put in a ton of footage of the pool area there. Now we're gonna show you the pool area at the actual property we are at. We are still at the Hyatt Residence Club in Maui. I uh, thought I'd just give another update. Hopefully I've put in enough shots for you guys to get a good idea of what this property looks like and got a good idea of the pool, all the amenities here. So I just thought I'd give a final synopsis. It's extremely beautiful here. I think just by the views alone, you can see that this is absolutely incredible. The room is nuts. Um, we stayed last night just for the one night. What else can I say about the Hyatt Residence Club? Um, I'll just give this as a note in case you're not aware, um, I, because I wasn't. Um, there's not really full Hyatt service here in, in terms of like room service or like guest services like you would expect at other Hyatts. Um, I think that's because it's set up as more of a condominium style, which is uh, you know, totally expected and it makes sense for a timeshare property like this. I think I just was not aware of that going into it. So there's no, you know, late night room service for you to call or even front desk staff. They pretty much all leave by like eight or nine o'clock at night. Um, but that, that's kind of similar to everything that I'm seeing here on Canapali Beach. It's very resort style timeshare condominium properties that have pool areas and kind of grilling. It looks like you might want to come and stay for a few days and just have like a large enough space for a lot of people to stay in. But overall, we've enjoyed our stay. Christina, what's your thoughts on the Hyatt? I would say the Hyatt is great. We really like staying at the Residence Club. It's a new one to our portfolio and it's been really nice. It's nice to have the amenities like the fridge, the washer dryer, etc. The only problem is if you're looking to be kind of feeling like you're in a resort stay where they're going to bring you amenities and kind of check in on you often and stuff like that, probably the Hyatt Regency is the way to go. But both are really local to shops, restaurants, the pools are amazing. So we're about to go enjoy that some more. And as always, we recommend the Hyatt. All right, guys, like Christina said, we really enjoyed the property, amazing amenities here at the Hyatt. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button, subscribe down below, comment if you're gonna be staying here sometime soon or if there's any other properties in the area that you are thinking could be better or worse than this one. So again, like, comment, appreciate you guys as always, and we'll see you guys in the next video.